Hi everybody, it's me, Curry T, and in this video I'm going to be answering a question that was written on one of my videos from Mermaid X. So I'm just going to read you this question. She said, just wondering, what did you do when you felt like it wasn't working? Or you wanted to feel it in the 3D? Sometimes I crave his touch, his laugh, his warmth, and I don't know what to do. I can take my mind there, but sometimes I end up getting super frustrated and I want it right now. So in this video, I'm going to be answering this question as best I can. But before I do, I just want to remind you of two really awesome things. <laughs> and the first one is that the 30 Days to Abundance Challenge is starting on Monday. And it's going to be so fun. And we've got people joining from all around the world. And I can already feel that this group is such a special powerful group and i really would love you to be part of it so every day for 30 days i'm going to be sending you all a really simple exercise to help you manifest to help you get into an abundance mindset so that we can make it a habit and it takes 30 days to make a habit so that's why this is 30 days it's also only 30 pounds so just one pound a day for you to join i'm going to leave the link below and hopefully i'll see you there the other thing that i want to let you know about is that at the moment this week i've got an offer on my eight and 12 hour long session packages and that is that if you book that package this week you will also get the self-concept and inner healing course for free and the manifest a specific person masterclass and the manifest money workshop all for free so if you would like to do that i've had amazing successes and amazing changes within the people that have commit to long periods of time with coaching it's such a powerful thing when you decide and you commit and you invest in yourself so if you'd like to do that or you'd like any information about the longer session packages then you can send me an email or you can find information about it in the links below so back to this question what did I do when I felt like it wasn't working because obviously you know on this journey we do all go through that time where we feel like is this real is this all just nonsense am I deluded can I really do this and it feels like nothing is happening because nothing's happened maybe there's been no movement and I definitely felt that and I went through a time when I was consciously manifesting a specific person where I felt like my manifestational power that I'd once had had gone I felt like something had happened and maybe doing this whole process had reverted my power and I felt like I used to be able to say I was really good at manifesting and now I can't because nothing's happened and it's been months and months and months and I don't know if I can do this Okay, so I definitely had moments like that and I had moments of really missing my specific person and really just wanting him to be there and just feeling sad that he wasn't. So there's a few things that helped me. One of them is just putting my hand on my heart and saying, wow, you really love this person, don't you? I mentioned this in another video where I talk about what to do when you miss someone. And this is just such a comforting thing when you just put your hand on your heart and you say, wow, how amazing of you how brave of you to love this person despite everything i really honor that and i really know that you love this person and just honoring those emotions that you feel that you feel like you miss someone that you want them there and that those emotions are real and they're valid and it's okay for you to feel those things the other thing that i would do to make myself feel better in these moments is i would remind myself and comfort myself with the idea that this all made sense that we weren't supposed to be in the same place at the same time at that particular time, that there was a reason for it that I couldn't see and that actually it was gonna be for my benefit, for his benefit, for our benefit, that at that moment we weren't in the same place at the same time and that, that it would all come together in perfect timing and I didn't need to worry about it. I just trusted that. I personally trusted that. That's what I did. I trusted that in those moments where I really wish that it could happen now, that actually one day I'd be glad that it didn't happen right there and then because I'd be able to look back and say, I needed that time. He needed that time. We needed that time apart. And I do. I do look back at that time and think, thank God I had that time to myself. Thank God. And I really appreciate the journey that we went on even more. So when you have those moments of really missing someone and wishing they were there right now, just remember, just think about the version of you in the future that's looking back at this time now that you're in and saying, 
oh my god thank god we had that i learned so much and because i learned so much i can be who i needed to be in this relationship now it all will make sense at some point i just told myself that at some point it would all make sense and that's how i comforted myself and then i could kind of go oh yeah okay this is necessary this is necessary okay so the other really important thing that i want to say about this is that your sadness and your aching and your pain about missing this person is equal to your dependency on them at the moment which is the thing that you've got to work on the most okay so that means more self-love right that means more asking yourself what can i do for me right now how can i meet my needs right now what can i do that's going to cheer me up what can I do that's gonna make me laugh? What can I do that's gonna make me happy right now? How can I prove to myself that I'm okay, right? Your pain is equal to your dependency on this person and that's where the work is, okay? Because this person doesn't have your worth, this person doesn't have your happiness, you do and you've got to be your worth you've got to be your happiness and bring that into the relationship so that it can be a happy consequence of you knowing deeply those things that's where the powerful change happens okay what can you do right now to prove to yourself that you're okay that you've got you the other thing is honestly just trusting the process trusting a higher power trusting that this will all make sense like i said at the beginning trust in a higher power trust in the universe trust in god sometimes that was what i had to do just fall back on that fall back on trust that my life my life was unfolding exactly as it should none of what i've just said means that you don't desire to have a relationship and none of it means that we have to be so independent and so self-loving that we actually don't even think about or want a relationship because you're human you're human right we all crave that connection because we're human and all of this doesn't mean that you don't honor that honor that desire honor that need human need that we have for connection and companionship but what it means is when you're in pain and you're deeply longing and you're hurting but on a deeper level on a subconscious level what often we're doing in the manifesting community is we're associating our worth and our power with our ability to create this relationship and when nothing's happening we don't feel worthy and we don't feel good enough and really we are outsourcing our sense of power our sense of worth on our ability for this to unfold and that's where you've got to come back to yourself you've got to come back to yourself and say i'm worthy no matter what i'm worthy with or without this manifestation i'm powerful with or without this manifestation and i know that i'm going to be okay i know that i'm going to be okay no matter what okay and this drops the resistance it drops the resistance to what's happening in the 3d at the moment and that's the thing when we're impatient we're resistant and we're not accepting what is and part of the process in manifestation is really accepting what is accepting the moment accepting where you are and i think the best way to do that is to accept that this is necessary that this is all unfolding exactly as it should and that it makes sense even if you can't see how right now so mermaid x i hope you found this video useful and i hope everybody else has found it useful as well i always see your comments and you're always so positive and i really see the work you're doing on yourself and i can see that you're growing and you've grown so much through this journey and i'm really celebrating you and i really encourage you to just really go in on the self-love and trust the process Okay? So if any of you would like some one-to-one -one coaching or you'd like some support or just someone to talk to about your situation, then I am here and I will leave a link below about the coaching options that are available and I'll see you in the next video.